What's up everybody? Welcome to 7 Days to Die. I'm about to start a new series here on the game 7 Days to Die, which is currently on Alpha 11.5 B10. And I just wanted to show you guys the settings when I make this world just so you know which settings I'm using. I cranked up the difficulty to Warrior to give us more challenge. Um, don't actually know. I always have this to on. I think this only has something to do with um, multiplayer mostly. I'm not sure. Um, I turned the 24 hour cycle up to 60 minutes and that is simply because you know I'm making a let's play series. And I want to give myself a little more time because, you know, there's going to be explanations and talking and so on. Um, I'm keeping the backpack, or I'm dropping only the backpack on death. So I'm keeping everything on my hotbar. And that has to do with, a. am going to say it's a bug where we have lost in a multiplayer series that I'm playing with a bunch of friends. Um, we lost our backpack a few times that the backpack that drops when you die due to it falling or getting destroyed and that's a real hustle you know when you lose your weapons that you've been collecting for a very long time so if i ever lose anything it's only going to be the backpack enemy spawning um i cranked up too high and the craft and loot timer um on the multiplayer server i play on we have them turned off but for this series i want to have them on and i decided to do them on fast because it's not really interesting if you guys see you know spinning wheel opening a body and stuff but I still think that if you turn them off completely it gives you a little bit of an advantage so I want to keep that on and let's get this going it's a random generated world by the way so I have no idea where I'm gonna spawn what biome and so on now I want to make sure one thing guys um, if you're a young kid um, please ask your parents if you're okay watching this series because there's going to be a lot of blood and gore and scary noises and I don't want anybody to have bad dreams. And if you're grown up, get ready to jump out of your seat a few times because this game can get scary. <laughs> it's very hard. What is this game? Um, I started watching um, Slipgator and Soljin a few weeks ago for the first time. Well, two of my favorite YouTubers. And... I saw them play this game and at first I wasn't sure if I like it or not but then I watched a few more videos and um, also started watching some other YouTubers and then just tried it out. It's available on Steam, it's an early alpha and when I started playing it myself I, I totally fell in love with this game. Um, it's... Well, it's a sandbox game, somewhat. Um, it probably looks very different, you know, than your typical sandbox games like Minecraft or, you know, another game I play on my channel is Creativeverse, where everything is in blocks. Here, everything is, you know, rounded and, and very nice looking. I mean, it looks really nice, but it is still a sandbox game. Every piece of dirt I can break here, I can replace in almost the exact same way. Um, so you break blocks and you put blocks on top of each other, but that is not the main thing of this game Even though it is a really good building game um, Especially hi dear. How you doing? Especially when you um, enable a bunch of recipes or add them yourself like we have on our other server um, Because a lot of games uh, a lot of blocks are not available for crafting yet So you don't have any access to them, but there's still already a lot um, available to you to make um, but yeah, like I said, the, the main thing about this game is surviving. You need to survive. It's really hard, especially when you crank up the settings a little bit. And it's not called seven days to die for nothing. Because every seventh day, so at night, there's another deer. Two deer in a row? Really? Um, every seven days that night, you have a big horde um, of zombies come after you, spawn near you. And then, of course, you know, try to kill you. And all the way up to day 49, these waves become bigger and bigger. So the first seventh day, I think it's set to something like 30 zombies or something like that. In two waves, I believe. All the way up to day 49, if you tweak your XML files with the spawning like um, I have. There's a download in the, in the forums for that. Because um, um, the game developers... Uh, Toned down the spawning a lot, uh, apparently for performance issues and so on. So it got a little boring because the seventh day horde waves were, you know, much less. And also the um, roaming hordes, you know, they're supposed to every once in a while 
a roaming horde spawn next to you during the day and also during the night. And that's just, you know, a bunch of zombies that are trying to get your brains. So yeah, um, and every seventh day you, you, you're gonna get hammered with mobs. And the goal is to, you know, in the first six days, build up yourself, I already do this one, um, a good defense or something. That looks like a lake. I'm trying to find a, let me see where the coordinates are going. So this is towards zero, zero, right? Yeah, to, to over here. Okay. Um, why I'm looking for zero, zero, that usually means that's where a, a very special biome is with the so-called hub city. And the hub city is, every random generated map has one hub city around zero, zero. And that is the real dangerous place in this game. Um, the, there's a lot of, there's one different type of mob, they're called the cops. Um, that spit acid at you and stuff. But they also drop very nice loot in form of ammunitions and guns and so on. So the whole place, you know, it's just very hard, the hub city. That's what it's supposed to be. So I would like to get towards hub city, but not get too close. Because the hub city is located in a... Um, biome called the wastelands and the wastelands are really tough especially because there's dogs that spawn there all the time you can get dogs out here in the wild um, mostly at the sixth day you get one of these or two of these waves as a surprise like hey make sure that you're ready because tomorrow's day seven we just want to remind you kind of deal oh nice there's a road that's what i wanted um biomes are separated by rivers and so I like to go along a river and what I'm looking for don't think this is a mining hole over there but I'm gonna stay hmm I'll go to the other side of the river let's go to the other side of the river I would like to stay along uh, a riverbed because in the multiplayer series that I'm playing um, we occupied a prefab prefabs is is houses here that get generated when the when the terrain gets generated um, so there's little villages and so on and I totally I'm from all the rambling I gotta make some some stuff here sorry guys so what I've been doing here and uh, now let me finish that thought first in the multiplayer you know we moved into a prefab in in, a, in one of the villages but here in the beginning because you know I haven't really played single player only with other people so far which does make it easier um, I'm out of breath out of stamina um, I probably it's not going to be as easy to you know completely take over one of these houses and then defend that because they have a big footprint so I would like to find a mining hole for the first few days to um, go into and call my own um, and that should be easier to defend and then we'll see like around day four where we want to move for the day seventh horde so first thing I want to make here is a stone axe you guys see the recipes are in yellow over here right now, but once I craft one thing one time, it's gonna turn into a green recipe. Bam. And now if I click it, it will automatically fill in the, um, you know, however many of the items I have to make more. But of course, I only want to make one stone axe for right now. Now there's something you wanna know about um, crafting. Where'd it go? There it is. Now check this out. It shows quality one. It's, it's absolute crap. But it lets me break this stuff here in one hit. Uh, the same with the grass, so it's easier to collect stuff. When you craft, you have a random chance to get... Um, it's not completely random. There is a... Um, what am I going to call it? A multiplayer. Let's break this one tree here. So right now I'm level 1. It takes your level and multiplies it by... What is it? I think 10. Yes. So... So I, I have a base value of 10, um, but then the game rolls a random number between negative 50 and plus 50. So because I, you can't go in the quality of the axe into the negative, um, you're going to get a minimum of 1, but I could get an axe all the way up, and I'm going to break, no, I'm not going to break yet, I want to level up first. Um, so I could get an axe at quality 50, you know, which does more damage, lasts longer, and so on. So, you know, the higher you level, the more you want to remake your your tools and weapons that you make because you have a different chance of um, getting a better quality item. 
and right now I'm just crouching. Um, you guys see that that eye in the middle that tells me I'm undetected. Just because I found it easier to break grass when I'm crouched. Because otherwise a lot of times I seem to hit the, the ground, you know, when you... Yeah, let me see. Oh, of course it doesn't work now. But sometimes I just feel like I'm hitting the ground instead of the grass. And there is a fella coming at us. And we don't really have a weapon or anything that is worth a, a damn right now. Let's see if we can make... We have some feathers already. Let's just make a wooden bow real quick. I should have enough. Nope. I gotta make some wood. No, oh, he's coming. Well, we're gonna have to smash his head in with this for right now. Uh-uh. I don't like melee in this game very much, so you're gonna see me mostly using bows or crossbows or guns then. Um, and, of course, this weapon is not a good example. There's other melee weapons that you can kill a guy or zombie I shouldn't say guy a zombie quite easily and then you find a lot of these trash bags that have stuff uh, metals and whatever you can find um, there's a lot of salvaging and stuff in this game um, you gotta spend a lot of time collecting items and I love it it's I love hoarding stuff so not in real life but in games I do okay so I should have enough planks and let me make a few more sticks out of this Ooh, I level level two. Yay. So now I have a base value of 20. So I could get anything from 1 to 70. Um, now let's make this bow. That's your first ranged weapon you can make. And it's it's decent. It's not bad. It takes a little while to get used to how to using it. And you guys see the craft timer. I got some stuff to do other things uh, at some time. And let's see here, where are we? Okay, I'm gonna run along the river here to the south now. Let's let's just pick this direction. And hopefully we'll find a mining hole that is not too steep. That we can, you know, call our home in the beginning here. That would be really cool. And we know where the road is because all roads lead to um to a village. And you know, day two I usually like to make my way to a village and start raiding it because you get well, we, we're going to need, you know, um, certain books because you learn a lot of things. Well, look at this. McDiver's book. That's awesome already that we find this. I forgot exactly what this one teaches me. But when you get books or schematics, let me put this where it belongs. You learn things. And this one, well, we learned the scrap boots, the whole scrap armor set. That is really cool. Um, what we really need in the beginning is the forge book. Um, that is really important to find so we can make a forge and you smelt metals and the sooner we get that the better and from the village what we're looking for number one thing is some food and then also a cooking pot so we can um, cook up our water and also other foods like uh, stews and and the likes and also um, tallow from animal fat to make candles or torches so there's a lot of items you can't just make in the beginning because even if you knew the recipes you don't have the raw materials like iron and so on just yet now, come on pick this i'm picking this cotton because you can make cloth out of it so we can make a ah did you see me yes he did dang it all right let's kill him let's get him out of the way See, the bad thing is that you don't just want to be hit by these just, you know, so you don't lose life. But they can also apply a... I th uh, forgot. Um, infection. And infection will kill you after a few days if you don't take antibiotics. I'm still hunted? Ah, oh, they're in the water. Alright, I got some time to just make arrows here real quick. Oops, not that. Feather... Feathers are really good to collect. Um, don't ever let feathers lay around. You find them in nests. Alright, let's keep going. I don't know where this guy is going, but he's running into the river. And zombies will let go of you. The, the um, You know, when they, when they hunt you down. But it takes you, I think... I know it's set to 60 seconds, but that means you need to be out of line of sight, you know, just completely gone from their radar for 60 seconds and then they let go. And you can always check 
by just crouching. You guys see when I crouch, it shows me I'm still hunted. Crouching reduces um, aggro in, to the environment. Ooh, there's lots of zombies. I need to make arrows now. Alright, make them all. And the first time you get ammo, you need to press R1 so you load the first one. After that, every shot we take, it will automatically reload. Let's see here. Is this a mining hole across over here? I need to go check that, guys, because that would be cool. Just want to find one ASAP, just so I know where I need to run to when nightfall comes. And you guys might have noticed that now we're starting to get zombies. The first five hours is like an... It's supposed to be a safe zone, so but this guy's going to be hard to hit because of his bobbing. Right, let's see if I can get it done. All right, there's one. You want to try to get headshots as much as you can because it does the most damage. And... Wow, fail. Alright, I gotta finish him off with the axe. Alright, there goes the axe, which is fine, because I wanted to make a new one anyway. Let's make another one. Oh, what am I short off? I need sticks. And what quality? I hear something. Where's you at? There she is. And before I fight her, let's keep all of these up here. She turned last second. There we go. One headshot and they're dead. I haven't used the bow in a while, so it's going to take me a few shots to get used to it again. Let's see, so where did I see that? That looks like a mining hole over there. Right over here. Oh, the bobber again. Now these guys are easy to hit. Oh, I thought I shot him in the head. And level three. All right, I'm not gonna hold on to this rotting flesh here. That's gobbledygook. Let's see here real quick, what quality did we get this time? Nine. Oh, that's still crap. Alright, right here. God, perfect. I'm gonna kill these two first, and then we take a look down here. If it's a dangerous one or a nice one. Hesitate too much. But we got them anyway. Alright, mm, nice painkillers are, you can use those to slowly regenerate your life. Mm, this might be hard to get back up, but let's take a sneak peek down here. And where is my trusty torch? During the day, it's very bright down in these caves. Um, the lighting seems to go through everything in this game. But the later it gets, like, you know, at when, when the sun set... Then it gets pitch black dark down here. It is dark. It would, you can see anything without a torch. Well, that's a deep one. Let's see how far it goes. Alright, what I like about it is that it has a drop off. There's some gravel. I don't see any iron or anything, but it doesn't matter. What I wanted to see if, if it's, you know, um, if it has a steep drop back here, because that means that. I cannot have any zombies. Well, I can still have zombies come from back here. Because they can spawn in these tunnels. Um, but there is a way of doing that. So, we're definitely going to call this home for tonight. Um, and I like this spot right down here. Because it's, it's a little flat. And what I am going to do here real quick. Before I go back out to look for more stuff. Is just make one storage crate. Just so it's down here. And I am also going to make some cotton um, into, whoops, this way, into cloth fragments. And when I have those, I'm going to make a sleeping bag and leave that down here. When you die in this game and you don't have a bed spawn set, um, you get randomly spawned. So I could be a thousand blocks away from here easily. Um, and that's quite of a pain in the butt to find your way back. 
but as soon as you lay down a sleeping bag or you make a i should say you put down a bed that you can find in the randomly out there in the wild uh, in the villages or whatever um i don't like this being on the floor like hidden like this you can rotate chests and stuff um let me make i gotta make those anyway these are very important these wood frames right here um there you check it out you, you can place it down and block like a door so zombies cannot just walk in on behind you and so on and the nice thing is you can just press e to pick it up um and i'm actually going to make everything that i have right now um and the other thing is that you can use these to somewhat level the ground you see how this goes in there this actually is an empty block now check it out when i place it here you see how it starts to slowly um, form the, the area around it so you can make the floor nice and level and so on. It's just, I like to do this before I place my bed or my fireplace, uh, my campfire and so on. Well, it just makes it look better to me. <laughs> and this right here is going to be, let's see, I think right there. All right, I'm going to put my first chest right here. And now I can pick this. Ah, oh, forgot it was not stuck against the wall. Tell me if I enough wood. E yes, I do. That was a knucklehead move, but you guys see what happens. There's gravity in this game. Um, so you cannot just place... Where did I have it? Oh. Wow, I'm derping right now. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I wanted to place this down. Yeah, let's put it right there and put this crate on top and I'm going to leave the wooden frame here just so I can drop some stuff off. For example, all of this, uh, I keep forgetting, I'm so used to Minecraft just being able to shift click into everything and I'm just going to leave this stuff here so I got more room. The maple seeds I'm going to plant right outside right now. I'll keep this guy, this don't need the cloth fragments actually the bandage I'm gonna keep on me and leave this and do 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 yes and now we can place the sleeping bag somewhere back here and there is a trick you 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 need to make sure that you can stand on your sleeping bag or on your bed or anything that you place because if you can't, you will instantly die again. And that sucks. <laughs> oh, there it is. Um, yeah, I can somewhat stand on it. But I don't like it there. I want it to have it. When you have an item in your hand and you left click, it rotates it. So now that's where it's good. So now, you know, there's nothing around it that can block us. So if I die, I will spawn here. Now let's get back on top. It's noon. I need to be down here at 6 p.m. Um because um, at night zombies run in this game so there's if you're out at night you're gonna have a bad time <laughs> it's it really sucks Ooh, let me break these guys these are gore blocks um, zombies turn into these uh, in the skeletons first and then into these gore blocks and these gore blocks again generate heat in the area and what that means is the more heat the more chance there is for spider zombies they're screamers to come um, and when they come and they find you then they will attract a nearby horde to come after you so you want to you know minimize these especially in the beginning later on when we have a base or something we don't care uh, let's see where was the road up there all right i'm gonna go that way and i'm gonna follow the road and try to find some interesting stuff or some more trash and show you guys if there's something interesting just making more arrows and check it out we started somewhere here this was the first hole we ran into and then this is the second one I found and now I ran up here and right over here check it out you see the houses that's a prefab that's one of these villages I was talking about so we're gonna try to sneak in there and possibly loot this first house here that would be awesome because you can find some really good stuff 
but I want to make more arrows for that. Oh yeah, 20. Do it. Give it to me. And got two cans now. So let's clear out these first few zombies. Crawler. These are so sneaky. I'm not kidding. I have gotten bitten by them so many times thinking that I'm safe. Missed. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Where did you come from? How did I miss you? Oh, my chills. I got the chills. I know there was a nest, but I really... Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, my. I'm in a pickle here. But relax. Whew. I'm telling you, these these guys are so sneaky. Level six. Alright, I've had it with you, bobbing. Oh my. <laughs> Oh, that's going to be tough. Four o'clock almost. And I'm nowhere near this house. And I'm just going to get one of these guys real quick and eat this painkiller. You see my life is down to about two-thirds. And this is slowly going to replenish it. Oh man, there is so many. What? Where's my arrows? Why did it not reload? Hopefully we can get this. Well, I'm glad I can show you guys a little excitement here. In the first episode. Because usually, you know, the first day is... Well, just like Minecraft, you know, punch wood, collect items. Not very exciting, but... Finding a oh my god! I want my mommy. I, excuse me, fellas. Uh, let's see. Maybe I can run past all this to the other side of the village and break into this house back here real quick and get some stuff, and then we get out of here. It's four o'clock, so this is quite dangerous. Let's take this house right here. Open, 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 open. Still hunt it. So now as soon as you come in here, close this off. So in case they come after me, they cannot just walk in here. Okay. Don't care about any of this stuff here. There's a book. Now these right here, you cannot jump. Oh, I can. Ah, usually you cannot jump over these. Nothing in here. Oh my god, give me a cooking pot. And I'll be so happy. Just another can. Oh yeah, I hear them coming. That's not good. Ooh, a weapon. Or oh, is this a weapon or just a stock? Hunting rifle stock, okay. Let's run upstairs real quick. Am I I'm I'm, unde I'm undetected. Nice. But I hear them trying to get into the house. Medicine cabinet. Probably not gonna get a... Oh, that is not good what I'm doing here. Actually, let me break in the bottom one. Because if they surround this house, I might be in a world of hurt. Come on, break down this friggin' plank. Yeah, I should have not come in here. This this was not good. Lots of ammo, right? Yeah. Let's go up here. In the attic. This is not a bad place to hide either, by the way. The first day. Because um, only the seventh day horde, the ones at night, are feral. I think they are. And what feral means is that they can also see you, follow you, sense you 
through um, walls and everything. Um, so if you hide in here and you're quiet at night, oh my goodness, look at the books. I don't want to read them right now. I cannot jump out here. That's going to hurt me. I'm not bringing the cooler. No. I got everything, right? Yes. Man, let me get out of here. And just sprint out. Bam. Dodged like a pro. Alright, let's try this house. Yeah, I just want to find a cooking pot. That would be so awesome. If you find these glass windows, just break those. Because, well, well that was famous last words right there. They usually break a lot quicker than the door. And the zombies cannot just walk in behind you. Alright, check in the kitchen and then we're out of here. No, 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 no. You, you keep that. Oh, no, that was not good. Oh, please, cooking pot. Some food is not bad. Then come on. Ah, oh, bummer. This one is closed. Alright, they're coming for me. No, no, no. So risk it. There's not gonna be a pot upstairs. I think I've ever found one of them. What time is it? 4.30. Oh, that is a bummer that we're not finding a... Is this open over here? What is happening with you, lady? Oh, no, oh my god, I puckered so hard, uh, what, uh, we don't need, we don't need, we don't need, we don't need, what do we don't need, oh no, decisions, let me put on some of this clothing to make room, oh, Higher bird's nest. I looted you. Okay. All right, I'm out of here. No, I'm I'm way too risky. Get out. Run. Ooh. Well, no cooking pot, but we got lots of other stuff, and I'm gonna just run straight back to our hole. Ooh. Made it back, and I wanted to show you guys before. It duck down into the hole take these cans uh, empty cans and then just right click a water source why did it pop one out what uh, put these no uh, don't care about you right now where did this can go all right now right click this again why does this not stack there we go and pick up the bullets that was weird, it filled two, but not the third one. Um, where's my hole? Hello? Ooh, down there. <laughs> I thought I just saw this um, big maple tree here, and I thought that was it. But I think it's this one over here. Yeah, there's some gore here. I don't want to keep that. Get out of here. This is going to turn into just the stage before the gore pile. And you can hit them and destroy them before they turn into gore. And I just recently actually found out that this gore is bad for you. Do I have wood? Just 24. Well, I don't have any room anyway. So, let's close this up here. And I want to go... Oh, no, no, no. Mm, dang it. Alright, so... I gotta do it like this. See, these blocks can only span a certain amount of area. And I'm totally gonna be short on blocks to close this hole all the way, the way I want it. So I need to chop down another tree. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna take this big one here. 530, I shouldn't stress that much. We're, we're in good shape. 
and just keep looking around the tree when you chop it so because it does the game likes to spawn mobs like on top of you sometimes and when we crouch oh i'm hunted see i bet she's coming from the other side of the river and that is not what you want before you duck down you want to be undetected Where you at? See, what? Wasn't I just constantly turning around this tree? Where did he come from? Oh, there's another can. Alright, let me. You know what? Don't stress. Just learn this here. Hunting rifle. No, home maintenance. Can make a claw hammer. Hunting knife. I had two. I'm gonna craft this. Um, that's nice. We learned a lot of stuff. Good. So now I can take this last can and also fill it up. Because I'm gonna have a lot of time at night to do a ton of things. And we don't have a cooking pot, so we might as well cook this water up. Um, yes. Did I make the planks? Okay. Get out of here. Frame. How many? 15. And then I gotta chop one more wood to make, to have some fuel for the night, for all the cooking and stuff I wanna do. I'll chop down this tree, am I undetected? Okay. When you crouch, you generate less heat or aggro, whatever you do. And at night, for example, um, when you're underground, when you open chests or you craft, or you cook or forge or anything, all that stuff generates heat. And so you want to minimize this as much as you can. Come on. Go away. All right, good. Now, did I get all my frames? So I can close this off. I don't know if this much is necessary. I just feel better <laughs> when I do it this way. Oh, still not enough. Are you kidding me? Most frames are ever needed to close off a hole. Hurry up. And let's make one, four. That's all I need. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. It makes... No, no. Sorry. I, I, I don't know why I'm thinking that you get four frames per recipe, but it's just one. All right, here we go. And now you guys are also going to see... Bam, dark. Now now I know it's really closed. Nothing can just fall in. And I don't think that these zombies are going to attack this, even if they walk over it. I believe zombies usually only attack things when... When they're trying to get somewhere, but they can't reach you. Now let's put this torch... I don't like how... Torches are so much dimmer than if you hold them in your hand but let's put it right there that's okay all right we made it start crouching um and let me just clean up my inventory for a second all right let's just take a look real quick because i did that so quick earlier uh, we got a white tank top a bandana and pants so we can still put on the skull cap and this stuff you know just gives you some armor protection and so on um, even the tank tops. Uh, the only thing that doesn't give you anything, I think, is the bandana and the eye glasses. Uh, the rest does give you protection. And let's break up. See the nails? If I put one, you don't get anything. If you put two, you get one scrap iron. So, And the same with um, tin cans. One gives you nothing. It's kind of funny. Tin can, it gives you scrap iron. <laughs> Um, but this is our first scrap iron that we've gotten, so I don't want to waste anything. And let's put that in here. Scrap iron. This is like my ammunition, armor, gobbledygook stuff right now that don't really have any other use for. Well, keep pressing the wrong buttons. I got the paper. Okay, that's lots of paper. So 
our food and water is low so let's take care of this here um, let's make a campfire craft oh yeah in this club here I wanted to check out entity damage 3.7 and 173 and let's repair our X this one is by the way quality 69 yeah, let's try making a new one here real quick. Maybe we get lucky and get something. Uh, what am I missing? Sticks? I've been missing sticks all day. How many arrows do I have left? 85. That's enough. Alright, so now let's make a stone axe. And maybe we get something better. 18. Crap. Let's make one more. 92 all right not bad so we got a 92 can't do anything else with them and think i can repair this with sticks i want to see how high this gets because this one has entity damage of 8.65 that's pretty good but because this is a wooden club but it's flawless that's the maximum quality you can get on an item is 599 um and let's see here how many sticks it's gonna take to repair this it says 10 it's fully repaired 17.12 so that's definitely better in case I need to melee instead of using that thing that's that's good all right now let's place this campfire um, yeah let's place it right there that's good you don't need to see it good now how can we cook here without cookware you put a stick in here and then I'm just gonna show you one so it doesn't take so long you can take a can of murky water and it tells you 20 seconds this one right here shows you burn time 4 seconds burn time 12 seconds place one click on cook in 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 the campfire why did this go down to what that was weird yeah, it's a little buggy here with these times. You see how fast this time goes down compared to this one? This is not right. Not right at all. It's it's still buggy at times. But now we got a boiled water here. And this one you can drink without getting diarrhea and stuff. So here we go. That was really needed. Um, oh what? Let's put this. You see how dark it is? You can't see anything. And we just hold this in our hand for now so it's... I don't need to hold anything else in my hand and then I wanted to show you guys how to cook up some meat I take these two and put them in here really fast bam done and it shows you 20 seconds so this is gonna cook us up some rabbit and also the cooked version still smells in your hand okay so but the good thing is that we still have these two that I just brought home and I am going to drink another one of these. Uh, no, I'm going to cook them all up. Yeah, I'm going to cook up this meat, this water. And then pretty much, well, there's one more thing we can take a look at. But I don't have enough um, to make any cloth armor or something. We're going to have to collect more in the morning. So what I'm going to do now is just sit through the night down here, keep cooking. Hope that nothing um, smells me or senses me and... That's it for today, guys. Um, I know it's it was a lot of talking and stuff, but I wanted to explain as much as I can in this first day. Let's eat this real fast. Um, you know, in case you're new to this game. And I also want to show you guys how I understand the game in case you guys have been playing for a long time. And maybe you can give me some tips and tricks. Um, we've gotten to day 86 or something so far in the multiplayer server that I'm playing on. And we have a lot of fun. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the episode. Let me know what you guys think about this series down in the comments. Or feel free to like the video if you enjoy it. And I'll talk to you guys in the morning in episode 2. Take care, stay safe, and bye-bye.